Hello everybody, my name is Mind, and welcome back to another episode of Livery of the Week. And today, we're gonna only yell the intro, but I mean, if Uni or Chai want to, they could. Uh, but we just don't feel like it today, you know? But anyway, we're gonna be showing you a livery that Uni made on this pretty, pretty good looking Boeing 767-400 ER. Uh, this is, uh, do you want to give them a rundown of what this aircraft is, Uni? Okay, so, basically, yeah, as mine stated, it is the, uh, 767-400ER. This is the Delta Breast Cancer Research Awareness, uh, Foundation Livery, or the BCRF. Oh, it's got a fun, fancy design. It's not kind of simple, but it does the job, and it honestly looks pretty, so there's that much. <laughs> anyway, we can do a tour around the exterior, but I'll just ask you a few things about it. So anyway, up in the front, you've of course got the nose. This nose does feature on our Boeing 777X, because of course they do use the same nose cone. So if you want to learn how to build this nose and the 777X, check out our tutorial on the channel. Link up in the top right. Anyway. Uh, they've got some text that runs along the side of the aircraft, uh, up in the front. Uh, do you know what it says, Uni? So this long text simply states uh, BCRF, and then it's got the little ribbon in a smaller style than the bigger one. And then on the side here, it just states uh, Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Mm -hmm. And then coming under here, we've got the nose gear. Uh, and it's a pretty detailed one, of course, because we have finally fixed up our 764, and it looks pretty good. I'll take a look around it, and you might notice here there is a door there, uh, or marked out there. And uh, there's something pretty cool about the way that we've designed our 767 and the something that we managed to add in. And uh, you'll be seeing that once we get on to the interior. Anyway, coming around, we have the, uh, what are these, CF6s? Yes, yes they're they CF6s. Are. We just pasted these in because the 764 only operates with CF6s, funnily enough. And we had PW4000s on them earlier, which made, I guess, no sense. I guess that was a bit of an accident. Anyway, we have these, which we can take a look around. They look pretty good. Like so. Anyway, right here you have the main gears, and these main gears are like hyper detailed. I believe Pop Tart did these because Zap seems to only think Pop Tart's allowed to do uh, landing gear now because, I mean, he is just brilliant at them. But we can take a look and then on the inside as well of the gear bay door. Anyway, that's pretty much it for that. Along the wing, we also have uh, the flat track fairings on the underside, like so and uh, the engine pylon right there. More flap track fairings as we come outboard, and the 764, of course, has a very, very special uh, raked wingtip on the end, and it is super cool to look at. It's special, it, it just, it, this was, I believe, the first aircraft ever to introduce a raked wingtip, um, or airliner. There might have been some other test aircraft, but this was the first one in mass production, I believe, and it's super, super cool, super different, and uh, it's interesting. Uh, and you, of course, see raked wingtips on airliners all the time now. You have your nav lights and a light on the rear of the wing. Uh, the middle of the wing is grayed out as well uh, because of, they use a different uh, metal for that. And then you also have the ailerons and the flaps, like so. An exterior feature that we have here is the 764 because it is longer so it seats more people. Uh, it has an another emergency exit just aft of the uh, wing, right above the end of the wing box. Now Uni, uh, this livery does look pretty cool. Do you want to tell us a bit of the process that you did to make the livery and uh, sort of the way it looks? Basically, I started with the clean slate. I started with the simple like blue tail, and then I did the red like triangle thing. I guess that's what it's called. I don't the really widget. know. Delta widget. Oh, it's a widget. Okay. <laughs> and since I just did the basic um, your belly, I did this little like swoosh. It's not really a swoosh, but it kind of like gets fat and then it shrinks back down at the end. Mm -hmm. Since the hard part was the um. The ribbon. ribbon. Yes. Um, that's the last process. Um, I started more so at the back. 
because it seemed it's just thicker and it just had not as much like sense detail to work with. Mm -hmm. Like when I slowly got closer around, I used images like jet from especially jet photos to get the um, like loop around the door correct as, as yeah, possible, along this, with this looks super and, good. And simply just made Delta and then the Sky Team logo marked with like the slab and stuff. And it is, of course, on both sides of the aircraft. Now, this aircraft does operate with a uh, SATCOM antenna. Would that be correct? Up here? Yeah, uh, it seems to appear it has a bigger one up here. I'm not sure if this is a smaller one up here or not, but that's what I noticed at least. So, um, now, do you know, because Delta has actually operated with two different breast cancer awareness deliveries for their 764s. There was an older one, I believe. Now, this is a newer one, correct? Yeah, the older one was actually all pink, and I've seen that before. Not in person, but I saw images, and I was like, that looks cool, but we don't have any pink textures perfectly <laughs> to fit. So and this livery does, I, personally, I think this livery looks even cooler. Yeah. Um, is this one still in operation, do you know, or do you think they've repainted it already? Um, I honestly don't really know. That is something I probably could have checked out, but I did That's not. Uh, do you know the registration, or is that something we can skip over? Uh, registration was November 845 Mike Hotel. So if anyone, any of you want to check that out for yourselves, there you go. Anyway, continuing around the aircraft, uh, the bulk cargo door on the Sun 6s are actually on the opposite side of the aircraft. Or actually, are they? Was this was this an accidental flip? I think this was. Uh, Might have. Yeah, probably was. And then we I think we also accidentally got rid of the cargo bay door on the no. uh, right hand side. But that's not big, uh, too big of a deal. Didn't realize that earlier, but it's all right. We can continue around the tour though. Of course, you have the widget on the tail, and then you have the two uh, horizontal stabilizers. Uh, you've got the um, elevators marked out. You've got the APU right here, and the anti anti tail skid device right there, and the registration again. Basically, the same thing on the side of the aircraft. You've got a green nav light this time, and then you've also got a cargo hold door in the very front as well. We can take a look on the inside, and we can also show off some of the cool features of this aircraft. So on the inside here is the revamped cargo hold, as you can see here. Pretty cool, pretty big, uh, and it is the same in the rear as well. But we can come up here and take a look at something that you might not see at a lot on a lot of aircraft, but we've managed to fit it in on our 767, and it looks super, super cold. Cool. This is called the E and E bay, or electronic and equipment bay. And basically, there's a bunch of electronic computers and everything in here. Um, and you have a bunch of the flight computers where all the maths are on, and uh, it looks pretty pretty cool. There's some cool videos on it for multiple different aircraft, A350, A380. Uh, the 777s is actually more in the aft of the aircraft, I believe, but that's pretty much it, and we're all coming around and checking it out. But anyway, that is what that door there is meant to represent, because that's how you access it. Well, on other aircraft, you can actually access it by a door through the cockpit, which we can show you right now if I can get on into the aircraft itself. There we go. So we're on board in the aircraft. We've got Zane here with us uh, that can tell you around. And we've also got uh, Chai here. Hello. And uh, Morales is also here as well. Now Hello. if we can get some space so I can show you around the aircraft. So into the cockpit, we've got the jump seat right here. And we've got the two pilot seats, the first, or sorry, the first officers and the uh, captains. And then to give us a bit more of extra space in the cockpit, we did use our slabs and sideways slabs textures. Uh, that way it feels a bit bigger. And then you also have the front display uh, with all the panels. And uh, this is supposed to represent the throttle quadrant right here. And there's supposed to be a button here, but I think someone is playing with that lever. Anyway, we can continue with the rest of the aircraft. You've got the front galley, which is pretty interesting with the way it's divided right here. And then there's a bunch of 
uh, stuff right here. This, uh, the interior is actually raised on a slab, that way you get the right height in relative terms to the doors and the uh, windows. Anyway, we can come on through. You can see we have some seats. Just like this layout, this is business class for Delta. And continuing back, if I can get through past all of the trap doors, you've got a, another galley right here and then some more economy seats, so you have premium economy right here, and then normal economy through the rest of the aircraft. Pretty simple, pretty nice. And then you have the massive rear galley in the aft of the aircraft, which can fit quite a few people in it, as you can see like so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Mindy. You can follow us, subscribe to us, follow us on Instagram, uh, subscribe to us on the YouTube channel, follow mm -hmm. us on PMC, follow us on Twitter, and do all those cool things. Anyway, guys, my name is Mind. I was joined by Wells uh, and Uni and Giant Zane and all of them. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.